Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video we're going to start making the wiring harness for the LS swap in my 2003 Jeep TJ. And we're going to be using the information from the website lt1swaps.com, which is a wealth of knowledge. If you've been considering doing an LS swap, I highly recommend going to that website. And there's also a book that I bought, which is, you know, huge for knowledge as well. I'm going to show you that right now. These two books I got off Amazon. This one right here is awesome to learn about the powertrain, uh, get some stuff about tuning. Got lots of diagrams, everything else. Copyright, I can't really show you though. And then this one right here is the really good one. Has the printouts from your harnesses and basically does step by step on a bunch of install on a few vehicles there's even a jeep yj in there uh even though i got a tj i'm gonna be referencing that for mine let's get started on this can't really screw it up i don't think it's basically got a pinout tool soldering gun meter cutters reference guide this is the wiring harness right here and uh we're gonna have to start stripping all this loom off I pre-labeled everything uh, before I brought it inside. That way I'm not accidentally removing stuff that I need. We're going to start off this plug, this plug, and this plug. We're going to cut off first off. And we're going to remove all the loom going to the computer. All right. There's no going back now. That one's cut off. That one's cut off. That one's cut off. This part here is going to take some time and do all the tape from the harness. Because we're going to start pulling wires out, of course, so. Now, from the fuse connector, we want to cut off all the wires that aren't pink. We're going to leave all the pink wires on there. Alright, well. That one. That one. A big purple one that must be high power This is time consuming, but well, we got this part pulled off. Eventually we're gonna pull all the wiring loom off. This will be enough to get us started. All right, so now these wires right here are gonna remain there. And then these wires right here that go back to the harness, we're gonna start keep removing tape and looping them all back. All right, this is where the fun begins. And what you wanna do is you wanna label your connectors because once you pull everything off, you can mix them up. So from lt1swaps.com, right down there, you can print out this sheet. Everything in blue you want to label. Everything in yellow you want to remove 
from this harness right here. So everything in blue, I labeled fan control, vehicle speed output 4K, tack output, mill control, fuel relay, which I'm gonna plug into the factory harness. Now, of course, on your harness and where it came from, some of the wires might not be there, like number three. There's no wire number three. There is no wire in number five. So my next one I need to remove is number seven. And it's red and it's EGR Solenoid Supply. Number seven is right here, so we gotta pull that out. And if you look right there, you can see there. We probably could just lift that up with my nail. Oh, there we go. I guess you gotta pull them pretty hard. So this one's out. I'm not sure where this one runs to though, because I don't have an EGR in this so this obviously gets spliced up and disappears somewhere in the harness next one we're going to move is number 11 and all the numbers are on the back here right snip it course got stuck of course it did and that's a dead wire next one pulling out is 13 and then 17 also need to remove 19 Remove 34 and 36. But my harness does not have number 36, so I'm just pulling 34. So pin number 41, EGR solenoid control can come out. 43 is one that's already cut out from the block. Also need to pull out 49. 54 purple wire. Pull it out. 55 is the AC compressor cycling switch. And I'm not having AC, so I'm just pulling that out. 64 is a wire we cut. That could come out and the last one that was supposed to come out was 73 but there's no spot for it looks like I forgot one 45 so I'm gonna start off on the blue connector by highlighting or marking all the ones highlighted in blue so for the first little part like number 19 is still connected to the block so I'm going to start cutting them off and labeling them. So I just went through, labeled all the ones that are blue, and now we need to add one, which is number 42, low speed cooling fan relay control, and number 42 is right there. And I'm going to use this green wire and that, my friends, I'm going to punch it through and label it. See if I can stick something through there. No, looks like you just pierce it. And pierce it I did. So now let's stick this bad boy up inside of there. Come 
if I can grab it with my snips here. Pull it in. Perfect. That takes care of that. Fan relays added. So now we're going to continue removing wires. The first one we need to remove is number 13. 13 does not have a home. Next one is 23. 23 is sensor ground EGR. And it goes into the harness somewhere. So it's going to snip it off right there. And pull it out. The next one is 25. This is this tan colored wire? And that's for part of the O2 sensors that we are deleting. Next one we're pulling out is number 28. Next one is 30. It's a low coolant switch. 38 we're supposed to remove, but there's no pin in there. So we're going to jump to 45, which is fuel tank pressure sensor 5 volt reference. So 45. So 45 is a wire that we have cut. I just gotta fish this sucker out. Blue 48. So we move on to 53. Which is gonna be a black. Which is this one right here. And it's been cut off as well. Be that through the mess. Pull it through. So we got 55, which runs into the harness. I'm gonna snip that. I'm gonna pull this one through. 56, nothing in that slot. 59 is yellow. This one right here that we terminated earlier. So 59 is out. So next one we got is 65. Purple. O2 sensor high bank, sensor 2. Next one is 68, which is purple and white. Take that one. Pull it out. Number 70 is the low oil switch. No longer be needing that, so we're getting that one out. So the last one is 80, which is one of the ones that we cut earlier. So at this stage of the game, we just finished completing the plug section of the harness. I fed through all the loose wiring up into here. So now we're going to continue to remove the loom or loom and then we're gonna eliminate each circuit as we get to the electrical branch. But 
I'm going to end the video here because it's too much to cover in one video. So stay tuned to the next one and I'll talk to you guys soon.